All right, guys, Rooster here in Tennessee looking at an Anytone Quad 5. This one uh, is for actually for a customer. He bought this radio and had some concerns about it. Uh, loved it when he got it, and then he said he felt like the receive wasn't working properly on it. The only thing that I could find is there's a automatic or automated squelch setting uh, that you can go into on the function menu, and it may, I believe it was pulled up over here on the screen. We've got it turned off now. And when that thing is on, it can make the, the receive a little bit weaker uh, from what I could tell. So, plus, you don't get any static on AM with one of these radios. Uh, sideband, you get just a little bit of a higher static level. Uh, but AM, uh, you might even think there's something wrong with the receive if you first turn it on there. As you can't hear anything. Unless you hear somebody talking, you don't get all that extra noise and static with it. So... We're just going to test it like we always test every radio. Just dummy load to dummy load here. Uh, we'll be expecting to see something on the uh, signal meter. So there you go. Uh, about 7S units or so. And then uh, if we want to turn the RF gain down, you can see we take it away. It's a pretty dang good RF gain. <laughs> there we go. We finally start getting some signal back. So... So it's receiving dummy load to dummy load, just like any other radio so, uh, sh should or would. Pretty sensitive there, um, doing well. But while we've got it here, we'll just go through and and uh, we'll just test everything out. Um, there is tons of stuff you can do with these radios. You go into the functions, go into the menu. There's a million things you can do with them. Uh, we're not going to get into all that. We're just going to mainly make sure the output's good on it and uh, show him this thing working. Like I said, I hate to do a video on every radio uh, that leaves here, but uh, maybe I should <laughs> to avoid having to do stuff like this uh, in the future. Might save myself and the customer a little bit of time, but uh, generally I don't do a video on every radio that leaves here. Just so happens I didn't do a, a video test on this one, so I told him to go ahead and send it back and we would check it out. So uh, listen to it through another radio. These things sound phenomenal. Audio check check, audio check one two, one two three. Audio check check, audio one two. Probably not doing it justice there, but they're just a great sounding radio. One of my favorite radios out there uh, based on how they sound. Now, the way they perform, there's not like any big swing mods or anything that I know of for them. So they perform kind of like a HF rig. Uh, when you turn the RF power down, you're going to see the uh, you're going to see the average power and the peak power come down a little bit with it. So we'll just test it wide open for now. We're on AM. We've got the peak kit turned on. We're looking at the bottom scale because we do have a hundred watt slug in here. Audio check one two three. Audio check one two three. Audio check one two three. Audio so sixty watts, and then we can just turn it halfway. Audio check one two three. Audio check one two three. Audio around fifty. All the way down. Audio check one two three. Audio check one two three. Audio check one two three. Audio. See it floating around a little bit, so it becomes a little bit less responsive if you have the RF power all the way down. Um, it doesn't doesn't hold over there. You know, obviously when you're modulating into it, it doesn't hold over uh, like when the RF power is wide open. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn it on average to show you guys the average output. They don't do a ton of forward average power, but they do swing forward some. Hello. Hello. Audio. That's with the RF power wide open. So what is that? 16, 18 watts uh, average, something like that. Uh, now what I'm going to do is go to sideband, go back to PEP for sideband. The RF power is wide open. Just to show you guys, sideband. Check, check, audio, check, one, two, three, audio, check, one, two, three, audio, check, one, two, three. Around 50 watts. Lower sideband. Audio, check, one, two, three, audio, check, one, two, three, audio, check, one, two, three, audio. A little bit over 50. Uh, show you what's doing for us, how much power it's drawing. Oh, audio, 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 audio. Four and a half, five amps, something like that. So that's it. Any tone quad five. Uh, again, one of my favorite radios. They just do so much. Uh, just a million things you can do with these things. They sound excellent. Uh, I dare say there's not much uh, 
not many radios that sound any better than these out there right now. No, they're not big average powerhouse swingers like the uh, Quad 6 is. So if that's what you're looking for, you know, this may not be the exact radio for you. But if you want a uh, want something like this that performs, sounds like a good sounding HF rig, performs kind of like an HF rig, sounds just as good on sideband as one. I mean, they sound great on AM, as you already heard, but, uh, you know, this might be the radio for you. Uh, we're going to box this one up and send it back to the gentleman. He doesn't owe me anything on it. Not uh, not charging him shipping or anything like that. Just one of those deals. Uh, just want to get him his radio back. I've had it up here for, heck, I've probably had it a week or two weeks. Uh, just trying to get around to it here and, and get a video done. Uh, but had so many orders coming in that, that I was I was processing the orders uh in the order they came in, I guess you'd say. So uh, just getting around to this one. All right, guys, Rooster in Tennessee. Questions, call me, shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. Any tone, AT5555. Catch you guys out there. See you, bye.